Hello my fellow miner, we will have a look at RTX 3080 Ti in NB Miner, G Miner, LOL Miner, mining Ethereum Unlocked in Windows and Hive OS with Lock Core Clock as well as different versions of the miners. Extreme is where I try to clock it as much as possible where I can get something out of it. Now let's have a look at NB Miner Locked in version 39.2 Windows 10. I set the core clock to zero, memory clock to 1300, and lock the core clock to 1500. Notice the average power usage in hardware info. And to double check, I've also made a little batch script that uh, locks the power, but it doesn't calculate decimals. It does, however, visualize the power usage every second. And now the results. 82.6 MHz per second at 285 watts with an efficiency rate of 0 0.290. Up next is NB Miner Locked, Windows 10, version 39.3. The core clock has been locked at 1500, memory clock at 1300. Unfortunately, I couldn't get it to work with anything better than LHR. 68.3 Using decimals on LHR is a new feature in 39.3 The power users jumps a lot and that is certainly something to consider if you try to max out your PSU Let's have a quick look at the result 81.7 MHz per second at 224 watts with an efficiency rating of 0 0.365 By the look of it, version 39.3 has become a lot more efficient than 39.2 Next up is NB Miner 39.3 Lock Core Clock in Hive OS. I set the core clock to 1500, that is called Absolute Clock in uh, Hive OS, and the memory to 2600, which is the equivalent of 1300 in Windows. Again, we can see the power usage is jumping all over the place. And the final results are 81.3 MHz per second at 219 watts with an efficiency rating of 0 0.371. Hive OS looks to be more efficient than Windows 10. We were supposed to have a look at NB Miner in extreme mode uh, using version 39.2 now, but it was simply too unstable and kept locking up. Instead, we'll have a look at NB Miner extreme mode Windows 10 version 39.3. I locked the core clock to 1500 and set the memory clock to 1800. I do not recommend running with a memory clock at 1800 24 7, but try and look at the maximum temperature. It is actually quite good. And now the results 82.9 MHz per second at 228. Watts with an efficiency rating of 0 0.364. Up next is NB Miner and High OS with version 39.3 Extreme Mode. The core clock has been locked at 1500 and the memory at 3600, which is 1800 in Windows 10. By the way, this is the ITL X4, which seems to be locked in Ravencoin. For some odd reason, I just cannot get it to perform in Ravencoin at all. If you want an easy card, definitely avoid this one. And now for the results, 81.2 MHz per second at 217 watts with an efficiency rating of 0 0.374. In other words, the extreme mode is absent of extreme results. That concludes the NB minor test, now we move on to G minor, Windows 10, version 2.67, with locked core clock. Core clock has been locked at 1500, the memory is set to 1300, and we are using the LHR Tuner 2, 2. Again, we can see that the power usage is jumping around crazy. However, the average power usage is much lower than NB minor. And that of course also reflects in the GPU temperature. And now for the results, 82.1 MHz per second at 226 watts with an efficiency rating of 0 0.362. It's a lot more efficient compared to NB Miner version 39.2, but looks to be on pair with 39.3. However, G Miner has since released 2.68, which we are going to have a look at now. 
I locked the core clock to 1500 and set the memory clock to 1300. I don't really see any difference. I would guess that they haven't done anything at all since the last version on this part. Which actually makes sense because the previous version was quite good. And the results are 81.4 MHz per second at 226 watts with an efficiency rating of 0 0.360. I would say that given a big enough data set, the current and previous version are performing equal to each other. If you enjoy my work, please subscribe, it actually helps me out a lot and will help me unlock the community tab so I can make daily updates. And of course engage with you more easily. Next is Steam Miner version 2.68 in HiveOS. The absolute core is set to 1500 and the memory is set to 2600 which is 1300 in Windows. What you are actually seeing is 13 minutes of recording cut down to 25 seconds so if you feel it goes a bit quick just pause. Let me know in the comments what you think about me showing this much mining. And now for the results 81.4 MHz per second at 221 watts with an efficiency rating of 0.368. Again, it looks like Hive OS is a bit more efficient than Windows 10. Up next we have the G Miner in Extreme Mode in Windows 10 with version 2.67. Let's hope for some better results this time. I locked the core clock at 1500 and the memory clock at 1800. By the way, I'm working on some Ergo videos with the same graphic cards um, using the same method. I'm not entirely sure if I should continue with Extreme Mode. I would. Uh, like your input, please drop a comment. And now for the not so extreme results. 81.9 MHz per second at 228 watts with an efficiency rating of 0 0.359. So again it looks like extreme mode is not actually giving anything at all. Moving on to G minor version 2.68 in Windows 10. Core clock has been locked at 1500, memory at 1800. I find it a little bit weird that such a big increase in memory doesn't actually do anything. I guess it all comes down to the core clock. However, I also tried to increase that all the way up to 1600 with no difference at all. And now for the results, 82.3 MHz per second at 229 watts with an efficiency rate of 0 0.359. In other words, no difference at all. Let's quickly move on with G minor version 268 in Hive OS. I set the absolute call to 1500 and the memory at 3600 which is 1800 in Windows. The only thing I notice here is that the power consumption seems more stable, uh, a little bit more stable, but that could also be due to the update rate being slow. If I sound a bit different, then it's because I'm sitting here stuffing my face with candy. And now it's time for the glorious result of the extreme mode, 81.1 MHz per second at 225 watts with an efficiency rate of 0.360. With that we have concluded our G minor testing, our NB minor testing, everything related to Windows as lot minor doesn't actually uh, unlock anything in Windows, at least not for me. Um, we also learned that extreme mode aka clocking to an extreme is not worth it at all when it comes to NB minor and G minor. So I'm looking forward to the results in lot minor in Hive OS. Please note that I haven't tested the energy efficient mode in LOL Miner. My single goal here is to get the maximum uh, hash rate that I can. As soon as it works in Windows 10, I'll do a complete one where I compare the energy efficient mode versus the performance mode with the different cards. Now let's have a look at LOL Miner version 1.32a in HiveOS. I set the absolute core clock to 1500 and the memory to 2600 which is 1300 in Windows. Already from the start I noticed a difference, we are getting a lot more megahertz than before. This could either be to lot miner actually being better or me having a sugar rush after eating huge amounts of candy. Or of course a mixture of both and here the results are 
85.4 MHz per second, 266 watts with an efficiency rate of 0.321. A nice hash rate increase, but also an increase in power. Definitely a way to go if you have free power. Now let's have a look at LOT Miner version 1.32a in Hyvo S Extreme Mode. Possibly the last extreme mode ever when it comes to LHR. I set the core clock to 1570 and memory at 3200 which is 1600 in Windows. I actually tried both a lot higher and I even got it up to 89 MHz per second but it would lock within 15 minutes. This is the most stable I could manage and it actually ran throughout the whole night. And now the most extreme result ever. 86.4 MHz per second at 278 watts with an efficiency rate of 0.311. Fun fact is that this actually allowed me to run LHR tune at minus 22, while the non-extreme mode at minus 40. So it definitely does something, and it has been rock stable ever since. I would love some feedback on what I can do better. Um, I'm not completely satisfied with the result here. I think I uh, spent a lot of time on the extreme mode, so that one would most likely go. But if you have any ideas of how I can make it better, please comment. I would read them all, I always do, and I will most likely reply to all of them, unless it's a language I don't understand. There will be a link in the description for the final result picture if you are interested. If you haven't subscribed, see you around. If you have subscribed, see you in the next one. Bye.